Hello, I'm going to give you directions for assignment number two, which is due Monday night. I will go very briefly through each problem and indicate it what do you need to do in order to uh, solve the problem. Sometimes I will give you the equation or uh, general hints. So here we go. Problem number one. Problem number one is a problem about displacements. This is all about displacements. And there is first a displacement to the right of a certain amount, in this particular case is 4.1. Then there is a displacement to the left. Then there is an, from here another displacement to the right. And then finally there is another displacement to the left. And the question is what is the total displacement from the origin. So that is going to be this quantity. So it's going to be uh, to the right if this point is to the right, but if this point ends up to here, then it will be uh, to the left. The second problem is actually quite similar. Uh, here they give you the time, so the questions are asked about the displacement uh, between two times. Remember that displacement have to involve a time interval. It's the difference in position between two times. And here you have, uh, so there is a starting point, and if this direction is, let's say, south, then in this particular case, at 3 p.m. is over here, and at 4 p.m., it will be in this particular case over here and at 6 p.m. is actually over here so it's return and that's perfectly okay and so what is the displacement between 3 p.m. and 6 p.m. that displacement is the difference between this position and this position and that displacement is probably this. So you get the point. Now you have to answer the question for another two time intervals. The third problem has to do, this is the problem of, uh, is a meeting problem and we will do one in lecture on Friday. The meeting problem, in this particular case, you have two cars and one is behind the other, but it's faster, so, and they move with constant velocity. So there is no acceleration. So the Honda, the Honda is like that, and the Porsche is like that, and they meet over here at this particular time. And they meet when their displacements are equal. So this one, if it is the Honda, it has a velocity that is given times the time plus an initial position here, you can call that L, which is this distance here. And the other one is like that. And what you want is that x1 is equal to x2 and you solve for t. The, third, the fourth problem is a graph of velocity versus uh, time. There are several questions how high the elevator is. While well, the displacement of the elevator is the area under the curve. This area here is negative. This area here is positive. So because this area is that, that, and a little bit of that, the area that they are asking you is this one. That's one way to do it. The uh, highest location above the starting point, when that happened, that happened when the velocity, uh, when I, 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 I get to the highest point is when the velocity changes direction. So the velocity changes direction when it becomes negative. This is another graph 
and now this is position versus time in position versus time the slope is the velocity or the speed since this is the speed they are only considered about magnitude not a sign so the highest speed will happen when you have the highest slope and but you only worry about the magnitude of the value and you reverse motion when uh, the velocity changes sign that means when the slopes change sign so you should be able to inspect that and how far that the object moves is not an area because you read directly from the from the graph you read the positions.